psychopathic curry man. Go back to the The DNA spit, I've got an idea. <laughs> Look, just conserve your energy. Stan and Ollie will be back soon with the supplies. Meanwhile, let's just get some... Look, just conserve your energy. One more time. Look, just conserve your energy. Stan... <laughs> Look, just conserve your energy. Stan and Ollie will be back... <laughs> Look, just conserve your energy. Stan and Ollie will be back soon with the supplies. Meanwhile, let's just get some rest. <laughs> Look, conserve your energy. Stan and Ollie will be... <laughs> conserve your energy. Stan and Ollie will soon be back with the supplies. Meanwhile, let's just con... <laughs> Skipper, I've decided I'm not going to stay. Why? Him and me, it would... <coughs> Bit of robo-phlegm for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Go, Crichton. We found something, sir. Yeah? I think it's one of the crew. A hideously malformed, triple-headed skeleton with putrefied flesh hanging from it. It fell through Rimmer as we opened the lift door. Is he all right? I believe he's just discovered what shirt tails are for, sir. <laughs> all right, Crichton, you'd have to tell him the f***ing 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 reading it. <laughs> Slime's a vital part of your psychological defense system. Without it, you're naked. If you can't lie, then you can't... <sighs> in the dub. <laughs> Isn't this enchanting? Oh, Crichton, do you think we could make it, you and I? Oh, it's the old, old story. Droid meets droid. Droid turns into chameleon. <laughs> droid loses chameleon. Chameleon turns into blob. Droid gets blob back again. <laughs> it's a classic tale. A toast to us. A toast to us. <laughs> You're not having a lot of luck with that, are you? But a man made from dandruff? That's never gonna work. The first time you take a shower with medicated shampoo, you'll disappear. <laughs> I won't be made of dandruff. My body will be recreated by the genetic structure contained within the I was born for this moment. I'm not sure I'm following you, sir. Across that valley lies an army of darkness such as mankind has never seen. The only thing that lies between them and total victory is this pathetic pocket of resistance. Without a plan, without a leader. And into this bleak arena steps a man. The man for the moment. Who? Me. Pat. Well, sorry. <laughs> I do lessons on how to blow gags, you know? <laughs> I try to be liked. God knows I try. I regale you with stories of when I was treasurer of the Hammond Ogun of Chukota Stalag. Would you describe the accused as a friend? <laughs> You've got no magnificence in your soul, have you, Rimmer? Let's just say we can eliminate the switch-off option. <laughs> but how could I get seven men across an area of 40 miles to link up with the main invasion force between Hasho, I've gone and screwed up very early on in the whole show? <laughs> sure we do. We've got to... Got to do something. <laughs> Father and I have been terribly worried about your progress at school. Well, a few days ago, I went to see the headmaster. He said it might be in your best interest if you were... if you were... oh, 
<laughs> Rima, what's wrong with you? Don't you realise? <laughs> Kenneth Williams does the dirty dozen. Oh, yes, now. <laughs> My name is General Pattern, yes. <laughs> By rerouting all his circuitry and channeling his runtime through a single CPU, I've managed to restore his intelligence at the cost of reducing his operational lifespan. So? Oh, do you want the rest? Mr. Noel Coward, sir. Delighted to meet you, this boy. That is, you know, yes, it is. <laughs> You're quite the worst bunch of famous historical wax droids I've ever had the misfortune to clap my eyes on. You're a total bloody shambles. And if we're going to win this war, someone is going to have to turn you into soldiers. <laughs> you too! Mr. Noel Coward, sir. Delighted to meet you, dear. Shut up. Monsieur Jean Paul Sartre, sir. Who? Uh, he's a philosopher, sir. He's an existentialist. Well, Sartre, we don't like existentialists around here. And we certainly don't like French philosophers poncing around in their black polo neck sweaters, filling everyone's heads with their theories about the bleakness of absurdity and the existential of the aircraft overhead as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound you wanted. To get a wild track of that. I don't start now. That's a big bird. <laughs> Oh, shut up. Shoot that dog, please. Astounding. <laughs> 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 it's projecting and everything. What are you doing <laughs> Here we are at uh, Wembley. Uh, an extraordinary outfit. And with me is Lester Piggott. Lester, you go to the world of TV, is that right? <laughs> right now. <laughs> It's a program about food and drink, isn't it, Lester? Mm-hmm, right now, yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite drink, Lester? No, in fact, damn it, it's Vat 69. <laughs> Vat 69, why is that? I'm an RTR pain tank. <laughs> God, I'm so thick. OK. <laughs> Hang on. She just have to adjust her breasts. Excuse me. <laughs> I try to be liked. God knows I try. I regale you with stories of when I was treasurer of the organ Hammond <laughs> sake, but you could have a <laughs> <laughs> What did you see? Oh, just some gorgeous chunk of loveliness. What did you see? Oh. <laughs> There's a boom in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, Matron, yes, yes. I gather we had no sound, you see. So we have to do it again, yes. We now have sound, which is that knob like thing up there, which you can't see, you see. I think I, uh, I, I screwed up. <laughs> 
One of my chips was a bit loose on the left-hand side. A man of such awesome stupidity... Objection. Objection overruled. A man of such awesome stupidity, he even objects to his own defense counsel. <laughs> An overzealous, trumped-up little squirt. Objection! Overruled. Object to the previous overruling of my previous... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's not in the script, though. <laughs>